What's up guys, it's Dan. Today I'm going to talk to you all about spin fishing and where to put your skill points as you are leveling spin fishing and then late game where you'd want to target. And I, I will say that unlike the other two skill trees that we talked about where it's pretty much set in stone what's going to be good outside of major adjustments to skills or, or mechanics in the game, the lure tree or the lures that are in the game and the spin fishing tree is going to be pretty dynamic in that it's going to vary based off of what lures are added to the game. So currently, um, they just added some spoons, the hunter spoons that have been really, really good on almost all of the lakes. And I, I believe at this point they're outperforming the wobblers. So if there are new wobblers that were added that are uh, five-star lures that are really, really good, this may go back and it might change. But for now... Um, this is as of, we'll say, March, two months prior to the expected Steam release. Um, this is what I feel is going to be the best area to put your points in currently. Uh, again, keep in mind this is going to be dynamic based around what lures are released in the game and any me mechanic changes that may happen um, across the board. So we'll get right into it. So in looking at the spin fishing tree, there's a few things that are unique. So if you invest in points with a spinning rod currently those points are also reflected in casting rod so essentially the best value in the game is putting seven points in here because you're getting 14 points all together so that being said if you don't do a lot of spin fishing it, it's probably not worth to put seven points in it to begin with but if you're primarily spin fishing it's a no-brainer so that's something that that's worth mentioning now, um, looking at later game, uh, I know a few people that have jerk baits. Um, I don't really know that there's species in the game currently that really target jerk baits. In the NA lakes here, we use jerk baits primarily for musky. And whereas the game does have pike, um, we really use jerk baits primarily for musky and, and really large predatory fish. And there aren't a ton of those in the game right now. So. It, I'm, I'm going to kind of avoid talking about this until more people have these. A uh, few people I know have them, but they really don't use them that much. So, um, again, it's very, very late game. Most of the people that have these are level 32 or higher. So, um, I, I'm going to kind of avoid talking about these here. So, as we look overall at, at where we are with skill points and if you need to reset them, I really don't feel you would need to reset any of the skill points in spinning if you just take three of them. So, in my opinion, the spinning rod that we talked about previously is, is worth investing in. It's probably not my first investment as, as a newer, or mid-level, even higher-level player. But if I had points to kill, I'd probably trickle some in here. Because I do find that most higher-level players are at least throwing a spinning or casting rod pretty consistently um, over the course of a, a week's time. So, this is worth trickling them into. The points you want to put in bunches, in my opinion, are jigs if you want to fish for Xander, Volga Xander, especially on Sura. And in Kuori, jigs work pretty well for catching char in the deeper holes. So that's if you aren't going to fish that way, avoid jigs. But I do think jigs is a great way to catch some trophy fish that aren't going to break your budget from a rod and reel standpoint. So char, uh, Xander, Volga Xander. Um, those, those kind of fish, uh, obviously perch, um, and actually my biggest trophy pike have come on jigs. I'll show you guys. Um, my biggest trophy pike actually came on the foam rubber fish jig. So jigs are definitely worth considering. Now, just depending on the way you like to fish, if you don't like to throw jigs, then where you're going to put your points into is going to be spoons and spinner baits for sure. This, these are some of the, the best points right now in the game with the, the hunter spoons and how effective they are. And then the other one that, to give consideration would be Wobbler. So mid-game at Kawori, the Funky Minnows perform pretty well. I still think the spoons right now outperform them, but it's worth considering Wobblers as well if you do do a lot of spin fishing. If you don't and you only had three points to spend, or if you only had three points to spend the whole tree, I'd say spoons would be better. And then I would vest them there primarily for the hunter spoons and throwing those spoons for salmon, kauri char, char or, um, uh, lake trout, and pike. I mean, all those species will take them. But you also have arctic char. You know, you've got some of those other uh, savant trouts that, that you can catch with those as well. 
So if he only had three points to spend the whole tree, this is where I'd, I'd put him in and I'd start pretty early because once you get to Kuori, you want to have the three points in spoons and spinner baits as you start to, to spin fish. If you don't have points in anything, um, uh, you, you know, if you don't have the skills unlocked up to there, once you get them, be prepared to put the three points in there because it'll definitely pay dividends. Uh, so really those are the three that's it that I would consider. And the order that I would unlock them in is this would be first. This would be second if you are going to throw jigs on, on Kuori. If you're not going to throw jigs on Kuori, put them in wobblers and you can come back to this once you get to Sura and uh, fish for Volga Xander and Xander. So with that, I'm going to avoid really the rest of these. I see some people put points in top water. I don't think it's worth it. Pike and rarely perch or grayling will attack a topwater lure. It's really not worth the investment here. Um, casting rod, we've already talked about this replicates with spinning reel or uh, spinning rod once you put the points in here. Um, bait casting reel and spinning reel, again, accuracy and distance aren't important to me like I talked about in the other videos. I really don't see why you would ever need that. Um, maybe later on in the game they'll introduce a mechanic that'll matter, but currently right now I don't see that being useful. And these other rigs, three-way rigs, drop shot rigs, uh, they're just not worth your time currently in the game. Maybe they'll get buffed and they will be later on, but currently they're not worth worth your time. So with that, that breaks it down. Again, the order you want to unlock them in is going to be spoons, and then depending on the method of fishing, either wobblers or jigs um, next, and then the, th the third one would be whatever you didn't take. So um, I think if you do invest in spoons and you're throwing a hunter, I think you'll really appreciate what it pays especially early on the reason i don't have it unlocked now is because i really don't fish with them as much i'm primarily throwing jigs that's just my preferred method but early on in the game if i was level 16 again in kuori absolutely i would have it so so that's it hopefully that explains uh the questions i've been getting as far as what to use as you go through and you're looking at your skill trees and uh, clarifies that stuff for you guys so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video